there's one other crucial difference between four-stroke and two-stroke engines. Lubrication. Most four-strokes use a pressurized oil system. A pump distributes oil to the critical points in the engine, the crankshaft and connecting rod bearings, the pistons, wrist pins, and cylinder walls, the valves, valve mechanism, camshaft, timing chain, and gears. The oil collects in the oil pan at the bottom of the crankcase, where the pump will draw it for another spin around the block. Dirt and heat eventually take their toll, and the oil and oil filter must be changed periodically. Some of the oil leaks into the cylinders and is burned by the engine. In an old and worn engine, you may have to add oil to make up for this. In the carbureted two-stroke engine, you can't use the crankcase for lubrication, since it's busy pumping air and fuel to the cylinders. The solution is simple, however. Mix the oil with the fuel. This way, it will reach all of the engine's moving parts, the rod and crankshaft bearings, pistons, wrist pins, and cylinder walls. The outboard will burn the oil as it burns gasoline, but it will never need an oil change. The oil must be mixed with gasoline at the proper ratio. Not enough oil will increase friction and wear out the engine. Too much oil will leave carbon deposits inside the engine. Most Johnson two-strokes mix the oil with the fuel automatically at the proper ratio. Smaller outboards may need the oil to be pre-mixed with the fuel, usually at a 50 to 1 ratio. Oil selection is important. TCW3 oil is formulated to burn cleanly and meet the engine's lubrication needs. Direct injection models are lubricated differently. Oil is injected through a hole in the cylinder wall. The motion of the pistons and the turbulence of the air in the crankcase distributes the oil to the engine's moving parts. The lubrication process is controlled by the outboard's engine management module. We'll examine this in more detail in Module 9.